Good morning. It's Thomas from Wilderness Ministry. So let me turn some lights on and I'll tell you what today's video is going to be about. Monday morning and about two weeks from our hike. There we go. I can see better. Okay, I'm preparing for an upcoming BMT hike, which is the Benton Mackay Trail. I'm here in my kitchen and I'm going to walk you through what it's like to prepare for a hike nutritionally and what I plan on bringing. So when preparing for a hike uh, for myself, my RMR, which is my resting metabolic rate. What was that? the dishwasher. My RMR, which is the resting metabolic rate, is a little over 1,700 calories. That means that at rest, if I were doing nothing the entire day long, my body is going to burn a little over 1,700 calories. For these trips, this upcoming trip is about four days, 50 miles, and so I'm shooting for around 3,000 calories a day, um, which will probably be um, a little under what I'm expending. I'll probably be expending a little more than 3,000, maybe upwards of four to 5,000. Um, however, because it's such a short hike, I'm not going to go in such a deficit that it's just going to completely um, bonk me. So, um, at 3,000 calories a day, that's about two pounds of food per day that I'll be consuming. And my target goal is 100 calories per ounce. So, some things that I eat will be more calorically dense. Other things that I eat will be, um, you know, not as dense. But average, I want to shoot around, you know, 100 calories per ounce. So the first thing I do is I lay out a calendar. Check it out. This little schedule here is going to help me keep track of how many calories I'm consuming for breakfast, how many I'm doing for lunch, and then how many I'm doing for dinner. And it just helps me spread out the calories to make sure that I'm consuming the proper amount of calories per day. And then I'll show you how I label the bags as well. So I'm pretty lazy and I go with a lot of freeze dried meals such as this one. Mountain House is a pretty standard meal. There's nothing super special. It's not trash. This one in particular, you can look in the back. It says it's a two person, but this right here, maybe two kids, uh, even for one adult, this is just not a lot of all, but it's a decent tasting meal. Uh, for trips like these, you know, these average around $10 a piece. These are a good starter. Um, I usually have these for dinner and then I fill in for the rest of the day. Next, I go and grab some plastic baggies. I use gallon sized bags. On Friday, I'm fresh, so I'm eating the least caloric dense dinner. Um, Saturday, I'll eat a little more. This is like 520 calories, the beef stroganoff. And then on Sunday, I figure the third day, by then my body's gonna be running a little shy on calories, so I'm going a little dense. Um, and then on Monday, we're finishing. So I don't need a dinner for Monday night. Just like on Friday, I won't need a breakfast. So that's how it works. All right, the next thing I do is I grab quart size bags and I repackage the freeze dried meals. The reason that I do this is because that the repackaging packs smaller. This particular one comes with really cool uh, packages already in it, like peanuts and sriracha. Uh, this has peanut butter, powdered lime, so pretty cool meal here. So you may have been wondering, why did I take the freeze dried meals out of the bag? Like how am I gonna cook it, right? I'll take the meals that have already been repackaged the following day, and then I'll keep using that tin foil bag. Now for this trip, I'm using an OPSAC bag as well as the tin foil bag. So I'll have two bags on this trip, mainly because I plan on mixing up the meals and I wanna eat a variety of foods. And this is the lightest way to accomplish the same task. All right, here is where we're at so far. I've got my chart, add a few more lines. Now, I typically won't take a stopped lunch. That'll typically be like a bigger snack, so I'll keep walking. Won't take out my stove though. Typically the dinner and breakfast at most. So lunch uh, would just be some kind of cold type of lunch. So we've got this right now. I've written down my calories for dinner, 440, 580, 720. And then here's where we stand over here. I've got my Sunday bag with the dinner inside. I've got the Friday bag 
with dinner, Saturday with dinner, Monday, nothing. So let's continue. All right, I'm weighing out one ounce of pecans, which is about 200 calories. So that is definitely calorie dense. Then I've got half a tablespoon of chia seeds, and that comes in at 40 calories. In addition to that, I've got two and a half tablespoons of powdered milk for a little bit of protein there. That also brings 40 more calories into the mix. And then I have two packages of brown sugar oatmeal. Each one comes in at 160 calories. So my mix for breakfast, as you'll see in this pouch right here, comes in at 600 calories for that meal right there. And all I need to do is add hot water. All right, here's where we stand on breakfast. So I decided for the third day to go with grits, not very much nutritional value, but I just love the taste of them. I'm going to throw in one of my meat sticks, but also for breakfast that day, I'm going with one serving of granola and then the equivalent to make a cup of milk with dried milk. And then every day after I eat the breakfast and we get on the trail, I will mix up some of these um, strawberry carnation breakfasts. These have 130 calories a piece. And so I usually get a Gatorade bottle, fill it about half to three quarters full with water, mix two of these, that's 260 calories that I can consume while I'm hiking. So this is what we got. So for breakfast on Friday, non-applicable because we're gonna eat before we go on the trail. Saturday morning, I've got 860 calories for breakfast. Sunday, another 860. Monday morning, I've got a total of 900. I just got back from the dollar store, picking up a few snacks. I'm gonna show you why I love through hiking. Oh! Yes, look at all those snacks. All right, so typically when we go to the store, we're always looking at, you know, how can we save calories? When I went to the store, it was how can I maximize calories and minimize weight? I just love this. Check it out, 310 calories, 280 and two servings, and this stuff is tiny. Okay, so before I get too far ahead of myself, let me tell you some of the things that I've done, uh, some of the additions I've made, and why. So first, I have removed one of the oatmeal breakfasts, so it's not repeating. Uh, I saw that I had a Mountain House breakfast skillet, a few less calories, but something different, so I went ahead and took out the duplicate. On Sunday, we're gonna eat at the Iron Bridge General Store and Cafe, and we don't need a lunch for that one. And then also, Friday, we're gonna be packing in probably a Subway, so we don't need any lunch there. Um, as far as lunch is concerned, here I've got a meat, meat and cheese stick, which I'll show you, and then on Saturday I also have some cashews. Um, pretty high calories there, it's 400 calories in a relatively small package. And then another lunch that I'm bringing, um, I have a meat stick, the 250 is a peanut butter cup, and then the 190 is a granola bar. Also, every day, I'm using these little Gatorade packages for electrolytes, so one per day. Um, I don't believe there's any calories in that at all. Okay, I lied. There's five calories. And then, just small snack items. Uh, this is almond butter with uh, jelly spread. Now, calorie to weight ratio, this is a little heavy because of the strawberry spread and because of the packaging. Uh, not very many calories, there's 160 but it's just something different. I like the fact that I can eat all of them together or I can eat it separately, so that's pretty cool. My absolutely favorite thing and one of my go-to snacks are peanut butter M&Ms. They're awesome. For Friday, we have in the pack a little over a thousand calories um, that I'm packing. That does not include the breakfast that I eat before. Uh, that does not include the Subway lunch as either. For the day, I'd probably consume somewhere around 1,800 to 2,000 calories. On Saturday, I'm carrying 2,620 calories with me, so right around that 3,000, a little low. And then Sunday, I'm carrying a little over 2,000 calories in my pack, but we're stopping to eat 
at a cafe. And then Monday, I'm carrying a little over 2,000 calories. But again, we're stopping shy. Uh, this doesn't include dinner. So let me go ahead and weigh all this up, get it all packaged up, and then go ahead and give you the totals. The totals came up to 7,760 calories in my pack. The total weight for those calories that I was carrying was 71.1 ounces. And that came to 109.1 calories per ounce, which, you know, that was my goal to get around 100 or better. As far as weight, that comes to 1.1 1, 1 uh, pounds per day. But again, it's not super accurate because uh, the subway will be on my back as well. Plus, we're taking lunch on Sunday. So, there you go. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Your mileage may vary. By this, I mean these are the foods that I like, and this is based off the calories that I know that my body needs to consume roughly to keep going. This is not a through hike, so I don't have to worry about depleting my body. Now, if this is a longer hike, then I would certainly need more calories per day. I mean, otherwise, I would just run out of calories eventually and become even skinnier than I am, which is no good. These are all things you gotta consider. Uh, these are things that have worked well for me. All right, I will update you guys probably on a pack video and what I'm taking here in the next few days or so. Take care.